what's going on guys I'm um, dash here um, we're going to be going over the latest um, CFX update um, on some things some people may be wondering or curious about. Um, the new ways people should basically be saving their clothing um, until they release the, a lot of them out um, due to a lot of servers having uh, issues. Um, so let's go ahead and hop right into it. Um, here's the update. We're going to cover this. Um, some extra info on the recent increase in issues report. Um, the loaded limits are something as follows um, high slash very high you guys might not know what this means totally fine um, three gigabytes of texture assets max and normal six gigabytes of assets max um, so reading right here rockstar intended this to be two gigabytes for normal as shown in the video memory bar in the settings um, they however had an off by one error leading to it using a double setting of high so like um, some servers such as like bandit rp i know it's affected by this um, that i played on if you had to set graphics quality to normal to play on the server, um, you're more than likely affected by what's set above. Um, if your server wo um, worked well on high or very high, um, video settings wise, um, you shouldn't really necessarily have any issues anymore. Um, but what CFX is actually considering doing um, is adding an extra extended memory budget setting to the game option that will be correctly be reflected in the video memory slider and take other limits. This is more so for if you're wanting to improve like your quality of streaming, depending on the server you are on, you play on. Um, so this is something I didn't know. I haven't played the game in a, about a month now almost. Um, but speed boosting being patched, it was not intentional. So if you're having issues with that, um, they weren't even aware of what speed boosting is. So um, yeah, it's not something they removed on purpose, but it's being investigated, um, and that should be back soon, hopefully. And HUD site as well. If you've been having crush issues, um, crashing issues with the game, um, HUD site could be the one. Um, the hook code was also blocked, so they're trying to get with the HUD site team to figure out what's causing the crashes. Um, so um, this could also be a reason if you are global banned as well with it being injected and such too. So. Um, that's also a new update, but what I'm going to hop back in here and show you how to save the clothing here very quickly, the proper way. So I'm just going to pop open Photoshop here. Alright, so I'm just going to open up this. You can open up any of this, right? I'm just going to open up this. Just replace this with your 5M clothing. Um, so you have two different ways of doing it. So let's go ahead here and do the first one. So we're going to go ahead and save as a copy. Save on my computer. I already made a file for this. So file size difference. And we'll just put normal compressed. Right? And we'll save it as a PNG. And that creates the highest quality image. And you want to click smallest file size, slowest. All right. Let's pop up in two say our export and then X or save for web legacy you can come down into here I have this also on a very high file size um, your ideal um, image size probably would be right around 2000 to 2000 um, or 2048 by 2048 um, image size for your other clothing um, but we're gonna go ahead and just pop open the save so this one's 9.4 megabytes right and I'll just show you the file difference, but now we'll just go ahead and put exported here, and we'll go through and compare these file sizes. And so while this is saving, let's pop, well, here we go, let's just check this out. So you have 9.4 megabytes on the exported, and you have 8.84 .8 on the compressed. So what you want to do is like save these both times, right? So now you have two different file sizes. If it's a bigger file size, the exportation can actually reduce it more than the compressed, right? However, my file size is not too big. It's not too texture heavy. That's more just um, a couple shadows here. But um, that's about it. So the compressed file is what I would go with in this instance to put into OpenIV my YTD. Um, but that's about it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and cut out the video. But thank you guys for watching. Um, Please leave a like, comment, and sub on the video if you enjoyed it. This helps. Um, I will be releasing more videos like this. Um, that way we can go ahead and assist um, you in like creating better clothing or you know, getting help in the 5M, Minecraft, Fortnite, any kind of community you can imagine. But thank you guys again. Um, I will see you next video.